Hi everyone, Mademoiselle Asphodel Carol here. Today I'm here on behalf of Handicraft Supplier to share with you my very first design team project. I'm really, really excited about this. I um, used a lot of different methods and um, if you'll just let me get set up here, I'll just get started right away. Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you the back of my project. I didn't finish it because I wanted to show you um, what it looked like. It's just a little wooden butterfly clock that I purchased at a dollar store for like two or three dollars, I forget now. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to share this with you. Just let me flip this over here. Ta-da! Um, if you measure from the tip of the wing to the bottom of the dangle, it's about 24 inches with the, with, uh, with the chain charm. Um, let's just zoom in here a little bit. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Firstly, what I did is I used some digital paper that I purchased online. And uh, this is all I've got left of this print. Um, of course, you know, my uh, printer ran out of ink, so I couldn't print anymore. And I had to make do with the two sheets that I had printed off. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. What I plan to do is finish the back with some paper as well. I always like to finish front and back of my projects. Um, so I use this um, very thin cardstock that I also purchased at my dollar store to print it on. And then I did uh, image transfer. Um, I used Liquitex matte medium, and I put a very thick coat all over the um, the wood, and then a coat on the um, print side of the paper, and put it down and used um, like a squeegee to make sure that it was down really well, and I got all the bubbles out. Um, and I will link a video that was very, very helpful to me um, to do the um, reverse, uh, the image transfer. Um, then what I did after the image was on, I used a couple of stencils with some um, texture paste and um, one of the ones I used by Rhonda sorry I zoomed in too much here Rhonda Palzari is a um, the crafters workshop it's mini texturized and I used um, this pattern this one this one and then I also used a 6x6 um, crafters workshop the mini specimen by Rebecca Meyer and I used this um, pattern here and this one I'll just bring it a little bit closer now so I can point out where I did the uh, stenciling. So over here, up in this corner, over here, here's one of the larger patterns. Here's another one. Um, in this 
this corner you see it a little bit and then down here down over here over here and down in this corner here um, then what I used um, I used some chunky white embossing enamel and you can see it here all the little polka dots and I did that all over the um, the clock piece. Then also if you see here what I did is I just uh, used some clear glue and um, just three in one glue and I uh, used some uh, shaved ice. It gave it that extra little sparkle that uh, makes it look so pretty. Now, um, at the top here, I don't know if you'll see it, but I have the tiny little eye screws um, at the top and at the bottom where I'm hanging the chain charm over here, here, and here. Um, the Tim Holtz tiny eye screws and they are very difficult to work with because they are so so tiny. Um, so my tip is to use a pokey tool or like an awl and punch a bit of a hold first before you start to screw it in otherwise I mean you're just all thumbs trying to screw in this tiny little screw. <laughs> Um, but that makes it super easy, and I just uh, I also dip the end of the, the screw end of it into E6000 and screw it into the wood, and then I'm sure that it just it won't ever come out. Uh, then I added this tiny pink lace all the way around. I added some butterflies. They are from the, the pastel, actually from the pastel mix pack and the pink mix butterflies. I will uh, put all of the products in the description below with a link to them. Um, I will also be putting the link to uh, Handicraft Suppliers uh, webpage. And um, okay, so. In between the butterflies here I have some 10 millimeter open roses in the pink and the three uh, at the top of the three chains then I have my butterflies then I have some little um, seed beads and then butterfly charms another seed bead and then another loop and then over here tiny little uh, bead charm, a little heart with a bling in the center and some, some beads. This one has a butterfly and I added a tiny little rosebud and I just curled the stem. I think that looks really nice. I love the way it, uh, it looks at the bottom there. So that's it for the chain. Now we can go back to the butterfly. Um, these um, little um, board tiles I cut from uh, little journal cards. They're from the Kaleidoscope um, Webster's pages. And I just cut them and adhered them to the clock. Over here I have the 35 millimeter open rose, the seven millimeter uh, pink and fuchsia uh, tiny rosebud, as well as the four millimeter yellow rosebuds. 
here I have some petals from the uh, Butterflies and Flower Pack, uh, the pastel mix. I have another one up here and I just added some um, enamel dots to the centers. Over here I have another huge petal just underneath this uh, pretty pink cherry blossom. And then I have a uh, fuchsia gardenia from the pink and purple pack. I stickled it and uh, on the petals I also put stickles but I um, just because I wanted a very light brushing of it I just used a paintbrush and just lightly applied some. Um, the roses don't have any, this rose doesn't have any stickles, it just has the uh, snow text texture paste. Um, I do have some tiny little um, acrylic flowers scattered here and there throughout the, uh, the clock just for an added point of interest. Up here I have a pink gardenia from the pink and purple pack as well. Added a bit of snow text to it. A couple more of the uh, seven millimeter pink and fuchsia rosebuds. Here's that other petal. And finally, I didn't know it was quite a surprise, a pleasant one. I uh, decided to add a tiny rose that I stickled the um, 10 millimeter rose to the center of the uh, clock piece. And to my surprise, it started moving with the seconds, and I was just thrilled beyond <laughs> belief. Um, I mean, that wasn't planned. I, was, I didn't even see it moving until I adhered the rose to it. And I thought that was a, a cute little added touch. So I can watch the rose turn as the rose turns. <laughs> so, yeah. On the... Oh. I did um, forget to mention that the stickles are on both sides of the um, butterflies. I did run out of the pink ones before I could finish it, so I just added the polka dot ones to these two. The rest are all pink on the back, but they are stickled on both sides with the um, glam pink stickles. So that is my first design team project for, oh, oh, and also I added some seam binding. Um, I wanted to put rose seam binding, but I ran out, so I thought, well, I'll put the green for now. But I kind of like it because it brings out the touches of green from the, uh, the paper, the digital paper that I used. I absolutely love it. I'm just thrilled. Ah, so pretty. It looks great on my uh, in on the wall in my craft room. I needed a clock in there because you lose track of time so easily when you're crafting. Right ladies? <laughs> um, so that is it. As I said I will be linking all of the um, handicraft suppliers uh, products below in the description with the link to the web page. Uh, don't forget to check out the other uh, design team members as they um, release their projects throughout um, the month as well. And um, keep an eye out for my next project, which is due July 26th. So let me know what you think, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day. Ciao.